here. We've got like Minnie Mouse here. Do you like them? They're or are you embarrassed they're, to be with me? They're, they're very Las Vegas. Just wait and see how many compliments these will get today. Fantastic. Well, they might not actually. We're in Edinburgh. Let us go. There he is. Big man's got the case. And I'm just going bag free. First stop, we actually you need to go to the bank. And then after that, we're gonna go straight to the hotel. Oh, oh it's really nice to be here, it, isn't it? Okay. Only an hour from Birmingham on the plane. I'm just so glad we made this decision. We're just having a little look in the window at Night Frank. That's not bad. At some of these incredible locations in Edinburgh. That oh my incredible. goodness, that's just unreal. PA72. Send that to your friends. Yeah, why don't you live there? Like, <laughs> it's the judgment in the window of the girls inside yeah, that looked like, at me like in my clear, stripy jumpsuit. Like kind of yeah, it's like, like never like, judge a book. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. We can't afford it, but might know someone who can. <laughs> um, actually, I don't, but. I've got to increase well. my network, haven't I? Oh look, actually we get that 350 grand. Look, we could we could live on that whole island. Is yeah. you get a whole Yeah, absolutely. We can live on the a island whole... of Iran. We bought an island would be the title of the YouTube video. Oh my god, that is That phenomenal. is insane. I mean that's within the budget. Okay, we are at a place called Baba and it's like Lebanese inspired. Oh he's hungry. Boy's hungry. Boy needs food. Taste test. <laughs> and the decor in here is very nice. Look, look at this. It's very comfy. I'd practically fall asleep in here. Um, just had to show you. Look at all that broccoli and all the colours. I just I'm gonna bring the tomatoes closer to myself. Because that's what I identify with. Go for it, mate. <laughs> when he calls me mate, and we're engaged. Go for, go for it, mate. It, mate. <laughs> I must admit, I don't look very fancy at dinner tonight, but we are going to go back to the hotel and get ready before going to watch some more shows. Because I was just like asleep in the hotel room because I was just knocked out somehow from a one hour journey up. I think it's because I didn't really sleep last night. Um, anyway, I'm going to dig in now. Okay, so we're back on the Royal Mile, and by we, I'm talking to, I'm talking about me and the guy I was texting whilst I was up here doing my show, and now here we are, engaged. This is a place I associate with you, even though you've never been here, because this is when we started talking again. Yeah, so I just said to Leah, where are we? And she was like, oh, we're on the Royal, Royal Mile. Mile. And I was like, oh, how long is it? And she was like, oh, it's about a mile. About a mile. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> So what's your first impressions of Edinburgh? Really nice architecture. Yeah? You enjoying it? Yeah, I mean, it does help that the weather's amazing, right? Yeah, for sure. But, um, nice buildings. Do you know what I love about you? What? Like, your enthusiasm level stays the same, whether you're talking about something bleak or something amazing. So you'll be like, yeah, um, I'm really disappointed today, so I actually lost all my money. And then you'll be like, the good thing about Edinburgh is that the buildings are really nice. Yeah. <laughs> and the tone is so similar. Like, we're so different. Yeah, well, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what's going on in your head right now as you look at those eggs. Well, the first thing that came to mind is it's nice to be able to crack the yolk on, like the runny yolk, onto the plate that you don't have to put in the dishwasher. Or, in, or wash it up because they always think of egg after like I can't get rid of the egg smell after you've had like eggs on a plate. Yeah. He is thrilled to be eating yeah. eggs in a restaurant yeah. because of the smell of eggs at home. Like you will actively avoid eggs at home because of the smell. Maybe this is just, uh, I don't know, not normal. But. No, I think it is normal. It's just the it just doesn't cross other people's minds so much. It crosses your mind oh, on a daily basis. <laughs> Good morning, it's day two, and we had a bit of a slow morning this morning. How many times can I say morning? Morning. Morning. So uh, we've just left the hotel, it's about half ten. We're gonna go grab some breakfast and plan the day. I think we're gonna do some tourist stuff today, like seeing Edinburgh Castle, and... I really wanna go to the castle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been kind of up there, but I haven't been inside. But maybe I have been inside, I can't remember. 
Uh, it's been so long. So, oh, the sun's out. Show you where we end up for breakfast. We're at Brown's and they've put the calories on the menu. Okay, I went for this lobster benedict. As you can see, it's quite the uh, spectacle. Okay, right guys, there are no tickets to Edinburgh Castle. We have left it too late and it's a weekend. So what we're gonna do is walk up there and see if there's any like daytime admissions on the door. And then I'm pretty sure we just go up there and follow it round and up. Where they do the like royal military tattoo performance up there and it's like all the flags going round, Atch was like, is that where they play Quidditch? Oh, I don't really know. He doesn't that. know, Harry Potter. Oh, no, no, no. But I just, I love that, it's so funny. If you had an ice cream van here now, like that one, you'd make an absolute killing. Look, uh, always looking for the opportunities, guys. Although, it's pretty seasonal business, isn't it? Yeah, what do they do in the winter? Oh, this must sell coffee. That, I always wanted to get one of those vans. Yeah, I know. Drive around, it was an old, an old dream. Fantastic. It's an old dream, yeah. yeah. So this stadium last night was obviously full and when we were walking home, like the however many thousands that this holds, they were all leaving around the same time that we yeah. finished that show and we were just like, that is a lot of people. Yeah. So yeah, it's not Quidditch, actually it's a Royal Military Tattoo performance that happens here. Oh, Lovely. Mm. I've never seen it. I'd like to see it one time, but I don't know how often they do it, I need to research. This is as far as we can come now because tickets only beyond this point. We did try and buy some, so we had breakfast this morning, we were, we were looking to buy the tickets and then it was like completely sold out, so. As we come back here, I do think I have been in. So, when I came to Edinburgh with my mum, dad, back when they were together, we came to Edinburgh and did this tour. And then when I've been as like a grown up on my own, I've just come up to this bit and not gone inside. It's okay, like it's very, it's very interesting. You love history, so you'd absolutely love it. And I, I did have an appreciation for it, but because I was young, I think I was just a bit like, ah, I don't really know a lot about history but I like it, does that make sense? Yeah, like you don't know everything, but who does? Yeah, I don't know anything about history, but... Yeah, you're my little history boy. I feel like I've really let you down with no tickets today, no. but it just means we'll have to come back. Sold out today. Maybe when I'm doing the tour of Scotland with the subscribers from my main channel, maybe you can make a guest appearance that day. Maybe. And you can come round the, round the castle with us. Maybe. Oh, that was a great idea. We're having a scoop of the carrot cake gelato. I really hope it's nice. Ice cream presidente comes out for the first time in years. Long live ice cream presidente. <laughs> do you even remember what you used to do? You used to review yeah, ice cream. Have, I used to have so much fun with that. It was just fun, wasn't it? Yeah, that's when you were fun. Yeah. I'm <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, no worries. Lovely, Lovely. Lovely. thanks. Nice. For old time's sake, let's just do a little ice cream review. Like you said, it's been a while. It's just, I've got a review for old time's sake. Yeah, I'm going to get you centre frame on your own for this. Gotta just do what I do best. <laughs> I've got to do what I do best. That's a man that absolutely is sure of himself. It's interesting. I've never had sort of ice cream with cake in it. I do like the texture. Interesting, but I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it is odd to have cake in your ice cream. But the flavours are immense. Wow. Can I review it as well? Yeah. I might preface this by saying uh, that carrot cake is my favourite cake yeah. of the desserts out there. You know what? It tastes a little, it reminds me a little bit of when you get Holy Communion in the Greek church. Why? Because you know when they put that little bit of bread in yeah, the... Yeah, just a little bit of bread, yeah. They put like a little bit of bread in the wine and then they give it to you on a spoon and that, that texture reminds me of getting soggy bread. I'm not gonna lie, like, I probably like it more than you. Yeah, no, I like it, out of 10. I'll go in with an eight. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm going in with an eight. To be fair, you know, it's a bit of an amateur thing going in with an eight, but all right. Why is that? <laughs> no, why is no, that? No, it isn't. I'm it? challenging you, why is that an amateur move? Because it's just very niche, isn't it? You know, this is a very niche ice cream. I think anyway, that's quite a lot I'm for going in now because she's smashing it. I'm going to tell you about this show. So this is a, we just got given this flyer. Oh, yeah. And this is a Greek Cypriot guy. And his show is him and a few other comedians but he's the only one on the fly. I think he gets different other comedians in every day. And we were just like, we can't not 
go support another Greek Cypriot. So we're going to go see his show. It starts in 20 minutes. So that's what this ice cream stop was for. And now off to go and see this new comedian. Okay, so we are going to see these guys and um, they're apparently improvisers from, I think they're from Oxford Uni. So you excited for the first show of the day? Yeah, looking forward to a lovely bit of improv. Have you seen improv before? No. <laughs> right, we're back at the hotel. I'm not going to say anything bad about that show we saw, but I'm also not going to say anything good. So you can take from that what you will. And what are we looking for now? Somewhere to eat. Yes, somewhere to eat. We got so lucky the other night when we went to Baba and tonight we're just like, where are we going to go? So I think the technique is to just walk up and down the street and see what's speaking to us and if we can get a table because it is a Friday night in central Edinburgh. So um, we've got a show at 9.15 tonight that is like a big sellout show called Foil Arms and Hog. You might recognise them from YouTube. They do sketch comedy, they're sell out every year at the Fringe. I saw them a few years ago and they're just really good, crowd pleaser. So at least I can guarantee some laughs tonight, especially after the two shows that just were a bit, a bit flat. Look at that cheesecake, look at that. Are you looking pleased with that? Yeah, I do love the cheesecake. It's one of my favourites, if not my favourite. I forgot to vlog the main, but skip straight to the pudding. Skip straight to the better part. Yeah. And I've got these like truffles with like coconut and lime, dolce de leche. Is it? I think so. You can try one. Will this be the show that saves the fringe? Um, I'm really hoping so. <laughs> it's been the worst day, isn't it? Don't it twice, so. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's day three. I feel like my whole vlog is a food vlog of Edinburgh. Like we forgot we had this booking at 9 a.m. which is why we are wearing yesterday's clothes. But um, yeah, we're gonna enjoy our breakfast now. And yeah, go for it. I've got this little like thing that's like, allergy. <laughs> well, I don't have any allergies, but I think it's because they took the chilies out. Yeah. I really wanna try some of your omelette. It looks like, amazing. <gasps> oh, I forgot to say coconut yogurt. I like coconut yogurt, but it comes with dairy yogurt. Anyway. Over out. Yeah, we've got like Minnie Mouse here. Yeah, you've never seen me in these, have you? No. Do you like them? They're or are you embarrassed to be with me? They're, they're very Las Vegas. Just wait and see how many compliments these will get today. Fantastic. Well, they might not actually, we're in Edinburgh. Let's just go. It's about being bold. Be bold. So we found a little Greek spot called, what's it called actually? Greek artisan pastries. Nice to get a little flavour of home. I've got a Freddo espresso, I've got a Freddo cappuccino, and we've tried this little new looking dessert that I've never seen before. It's nice, but you won't like it. Serious? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to try it to verify. Right, you're gonna bite a bit, and then I think you'll end up leaving me the rest. Yeah, okay. I'm being very that's, honest. That's fine. I love it. First time. First bite. First bite. No. Very nice. Wow, I've got serious envy of your Freddo cappuccino that I, I want to try it so badly. Got cotton chocolate on the top, and this is mine. That's a classic Freddo espresso. Mm. Oh, taste of grease. That's good. I'm just going to sit for five seconds. Yep. I'm just going to eat my thing and then we can move. Fantastic. <laughs> Start by giving you a little um, list of a couple of things that I like. This is our lunch spot up here. And we've got a little takeaway. I feel like this is the Edinburgh food tour continued, me and you. Because I can't show in, inside the show, it's kind of like... eating that much. No, I just mean that I only switched the camera when we were about to eat. I know, yeah. So let's pick a little spot and um, find somewhere to sit. There's more up there, I believe, but let's go see. Right, these are the little Lebanese boxes we got. It's got falafel, hummus some couscous, sweet potato, roasted veg. I got no olives because I'm the worst Greek yeah, in the world. I love olives. I got extra tomatoes though. And um, yeah, this is our little, our little spot. It just feels like this gelato shop is calling our name more so than the one the other day. Yeah, 100%. Like, do you want to- I mean, I'm not waiting in that, no. That queue is obscene, look at that queue. And then it goes all the way up the stairs. Maybe we should mean? come back at another time, yeah, like I not so. lunch well, time. Might actually, not have any gelato left. Like that, yeah, that's madness. 
I swear to God, follow me or I'll follow you home. <laughs> I know. It's a food tour of Edinburgh. Yeah. At least, you know, I was really happy with the last comedian we saw. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, you can hear what I am saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good morning. We are just checking out of our hotel. It's been a good stay. I mean, we said when we checked in, didn't we? We were like, it's not fabulous but it's not bad, it's yeah. just okay. And I think if you need somewhere that's just okay, just does the job, have a look into Yotel because this just fit, fit the job perfectly. Um, so Ach, where now? To the tram. To the tram. I'm just gonna take us to the airport. And you've got the tickets to the tram, haven't you? Cause you're a ticket man. Okay, so this is, this weather, <laughs> This is how I know and like think of Edinburgh. This is how I remember Edinburgh. Like and foggy. it's like grim, it's like spitting a bit, it's grey, it's not pretty. So we really did have a treat for the last three days in the sunshine, because that's like fake Edinburgh. Like that just doesn't exist in my mind for Edinburgh. But I'm, I'm just so glad, because he's one of those people that's like, the, the weather really affects his mood, yeah. like seasonal affective. I think it's time for a coffee stop or I have really miss a good cup of tea. I've not had a good cup of tea up here yet. And uh, apart from that one I had at Brown's, that was quite nice. And then um, to the airport and home and the work begins. We've got quite a lot of stuff going on today over at the property that's finished. We've got three tenants moving in and we just need to sort stuff out. I always wave my bag off. Babe, I went to see you mate. See you mate. <laughs> That is a wrap.